This is Faction. Faction is a full penetration testing collaboration suite. It handles everything from assessment scheduling to automating reports. It's built to scale from small consulting engagements to managing full enterprise teams. In this video, I'll show you a quick overview of all the features of Faction and how to generate your first pen testing report. When you first log into Faction, you'll be presented with the Faction dashboard. This shows you all assessments you have in queue and a quick overview of the current assessment scope. When you click into the current assessment, it takes you to the assessment overview. This is where you can enter your assessment details and high level findings. You can then navigate to the vulnerabilities tab. Here you have the option to manually enter vulnerabilities or upload them from common templates. Manually adding a vulnerability is easy, as in all you need to do is search for the vulnerability name and Faction will automatically populate the description and recommendation for the finding. Faction is designed from the ground up to be an efficient assessment platform with integrations with common tools like Burp Suite. When using the Burp Suite Faction plugin, you have access to your assessment queues and scope all within Burp Suite. This way, you don't even have to log into the platform to know what you're working on this week. Now, let's add our first finding using only the tools available in Burp Suite. Here, we have a common cross-site scripting vulnerability. Now that we have confirmed that the site is actually vulnerable to cross-site scripting, we can take the request that we've seen in Burp Suite and send it over to Repeater. From here, we can once again confirm it's exploitable and get the response. We can select just the portions we want to add to our report. We can then select Add New Finding. And this opens up a dialog. We can search for reflected cross-site scripting. We can ensure that we select Request, Response, and Only Extracted Selection. Let's take note of the steps required to exploit this vulnerability, and we can enter them here into the exploit steps. The exploit steps supports markdown syntax, which makes it really easy to add our information without breaking our flow. Now that we've saved this finding, it shows up instantly in our findings table inside of Burp Suite. Clicking on this finding opens up a new window that shows the details and exploit steps that we entered previously. Faction is built to make collaboration and retests easy, so you'll notice above the request there is an option to send to Repeater. You can click on this and it'll open a new tab inside of Repeater. This makes it really easy to replay previous findings, and if you're working with other assessors, they can replay your findings as well to help them iterate on issues they are discovering. At this point, you may want to edit the finding by adding additional details or even screenshots. This can be done inside the platform by clicking on the specific vulnerability and then selecting the specific step that you want to edit. Here you can see all of the details of the finding that we added previously. We can go back over to our vulnerable application, take a screenshot, and then simply copy and paste it into the details. Now that we have our findings, it's time to start finalizing our report. The first thing we'll want to do is update our high-level summary. We can use our default templates for the high-level summary, and then we need to add some additional recommendations. Since we have an output encoding issue, we can quickly add that to the summary, then do some minor formatting. Next, we're going to update our scope. We can use our default scoping template. Now that that's added, we'll take the URLs that were provided in our engagement info and just add that table to our existing scoping template. Notice that all of these templates have existing variables, like for instance, this one has the assessment name that will be pre-populated when we generate our report. Now that we're satisfied with all of the findings and high-level summaries, it's time to generate the final report. To do this, click Finalize, and then click Generate Report. This will generate a report based on your custom templates. We'll auto-populate all of the findings, assessment summaries, 
and replace the custom variables so that you have a final report that is ready to send to the client. Now that the report is generated, let's download it and take a look at the final report. So here you can see the report is generated, table of contents is automatically updated, we have our security findings, our default recommendations, we've auto-populated the variables, as we scroll down we'll see the assessment scope, and then all of our high-level findings, and then our technical findings, which include exploit steps and screenshots. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to find out more information, go to factionsecurity.com. Thank you.